thing, you know. I, I, people, you know, are not, to me, not because of the lack of, I see, research of Christians. Um, uh, people are not really researching the absolute problem concerning the church. And, you know, and it is an absolute problem about, you know, what's going on concerning the church, you know what I'm saying? And then the problem is, it's not being manifested because of, you know, people like doing their own thing. It's like, you know, it's the own thing most of the time will become the wrong thing. Unfortunately. Um, thing is, uh, the topic of this message of you know, like, you know, we are supposed to be, we must, uh, people like, I hear a lot of Christians supposed to say, well, I'm not perfect or something like that. And you know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm going to show you something about how God created Christianity. That, you know, that if we do this, this will happen. Now watch this. If we do this. This will happen. Not if any individual and this individual do this and this individual do this. No, God created this structure. If we do this, this will happen. And the thing is, the thing is, yes, we are supposed to aim to, towards perfection. And perfection is possible. Yes, it's possible. But it's possible only if we we, body of Christ, do this. You know what I'm saying? That is in Ephesians 4, 13. And the thing is, people, you know, uh, you know, I know a lot of people preaching on uh, what's wrong with the church. You know what I'm saying? Like me. <laughs> but here's the thing, you know, I point out stuff. What's going on wrong with the church. I point out the things. I, I don't really point at people. But I point out what's wrong with the church. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just, you know, trying to protest of trying to get things back to where it's need to be and where it's supposed to be. Um, the thing is, but the thing is, the solution of the answer is there. It's just a matter of us following it. You know what I'm saying? That people need to understand that if we do this... Bada, bada bing, bada bow. That's how God, or through Jesus Christ, created this structure. Now, you know, notice that it says in for, um, Ephesians 4, it talks about uh, uh, God is, you know, God is over all, through all, and you all. You know what I'm saying? That that's, it's all about God. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, is it's, and all is what uh, I'm telling people that these days as Christians are not understanding concerning how they do their events and how the church structure is, you know, going on, you know what I'm saying? All, church don't really understand all. But I'm finished, this message is going to uh, show you the idea that if we do not come do this, we can't not truly be the body of Christ. Period. Point blank. And it's Ephesians 4 and 13. We do not do, and it says we, <laughs> we do not do this. We cannot. And we cannot be the body of Christ. And we will not reach the perfection that is possible to reach. I mean, everybody thinks because, oh, we, you know, everybody, like the Bible says, all sin and fall short in the glory of God. Everybody sin and stuff like that. And yes, people are going to pretty much continue to sin because, not because so much of the, um, the of, of so much of the individual, but it's because really, if you understand the ideal system of the church is supposed to be all right, is because of the lack of us, not, the, the body is not following the instructions of what it's saying. It's kind of like this, you know, God showed me like this. It's kind of like, uh, I'm picking a team, uh, Seattle. Seattle, you know, uh, Seattle, 
Seahawks, yeah, Seattle Seahawks. Um, just because the tight end, you know, the tight end can drop some passes, you know what I'm saying? And a uh, uh, running back can run the wrong way, you know what I'm saying? Lynch run the wrong way. I don't think there's no such thing a wrong way with Lynch running the ball. But anyway, you know, he can run and mess up, you know, uh, run the wrong way and get tackled or, or you know, play by play, you know what I'm saying, uh, Russell Wilson can throw an incomplete pass or interception or whatever like that. But as a team, you know what I'm saying, because of somebody's not doing their assignments, you know what I'm saying, they're not progressing to execute what they're coming out to do. You know what I'm saying? As the defense, if the defense let this receiver go get open and score a touchdown or, or let this running back run the ball, and you know what I'm saying? And this because of, because of you know, the lack of what they're not doing is because that they're putting themselves in a position to look loose and in their and as because as their individual play is not performing at the par is is how the team is not really operating correctly because when when one person does something right or score a touchdown or you know what I'm saying stop a play on defense or score a touchdown on the offense that benefits the team. You know what I'm saying? And Chris and church is a team concept. It's supposed to be a team concept, not an individual concept. But the problem is people are looking at it as an individual concept and they're, you know, telling that this person uh, is not doing living right, that person is not living right, and this person is living right. But God created this system that if the team will come together, you know what I'm saying, and start oper learning how to play with each other, you know what I'm saying, you know, uh, op do operate according to the word of God with each other, that you will get a winning team or really a perfect team. And, you know, I wish the topic of the message the perfect team. But the thing is, uh, the topic of this message, I might topic that. Yeah, the reality of Christianity, I mean, the reality of Christianity, the perfect team. Now, I'm going to show you in this scripture that that is supposed to be a reality. And the scripture is uh, Ephesians 4 and 13. Watch this. And it says, until we, not until an individual get it right or get it together. No, it's until we come into the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto, now watch this, unto a perfect man, unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the statue of the fullness of Christ. See, the fullness of Christ. Now watch this. Now watch, you see that Paul is presenting a procedure. If we come together in the unity of the faith, of the knowledge of the Son of God, watch this, what the procedure, unto a perfect man, that we will reach a capability of perfection that people will operate in, in in a perfect manner of what we're supposed to be doing concerning as the body of Christ. You know what I'm saying? Watch this. Unto a measure that we will now have more to give. We will have more love to give. More joy to give. More peace to give. More, more, more out to give. And the thing is, when we understand that if we, we, and we, what well, well, God taught me about we, we means um uh something he gave me initials a we you know what I'm saying that we need to um come together you know you know uh, uh, uh oh yeah that we <laughs> it, we means uh world and earth you know what I'm saying it, it, when we get the world you know what I'm saying together the world as a people the earth will come together and everything bring will will supposed to facilitate restoration 
You know what I'm saying? When the world, the the the, the, the Christians in the world is really the uh, you know uh, we, you know the Christians of the world, not the Christians in the buildings, but the Christians of the world. If we unite together, you know what I'm saying, and we and what will proceed the we is the earth will start coming to a restoration that really is what Christianity is all about that Jesus says come unto me all ye that heavy laden for I will give you rest that we will enter into the rest in Matthew's no sorry in Hebrews 4 that you know what I'm saying that we will enter the rest that you know everybody will you know the earth will be restored. Restore producing the proper uh, fruit. You know what I'm saying? Everything will start getting wonderful. That what is also be the agenda of the church. That, you know, is not being facilitated right now. That the church, that like, you know, that it will bring a peace beyond all through the world. It's supposed to. If we, if we come together. But if we keep like I keep pushing about this I um, ministries of 1 Corinthians 13 and 1 through 3 that we're not supposed to be about. I preach it, speak in tongues. I do all this. I do all that. I do that. That's an individual. And that's what's going on right now. These individual, you know what I'm saying, situations that is not proceeding the we. You know what I'm saying? That God desires that the Christians are of the world unite then the earth can be this can facilitate this unity of the faith concerning the knowledge of the son of God that will operate in a perfection unto the measure of the statue of the fullness of God and that we will be full of Christ now here's the thing about the being full of Christ that you know now now uh, Joel and Peter talks about in the last days God shall pour out his spirit upon all flesh see well people don't realize that the world is going to come into uh, that God is going to get we together whether we uh, people the Christians around the world like it or not in their eye ministries that he's going to get we together that you know we will facilitate this unity of the faith in the unity of the spirit that uh, that we will come into this fullness. That we will uh, that the this, when we come to that agreement concerning the perfection, that measure of the stat, stature of the fullness of Christ will facilitate. It will happen when we follow the procedure. When unity comes, you know what I'm saying. And the thing is, it's going to happen very soon. In those whosoever that want to be a part of it, be a part of it. But if you still want to do this I ministries for the sake of your attention and your gain of people loving you and seeing your face and thinking that, you know, you all that and then some, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to be a part of this idea of we. You know what I'm saying? Um, of the um, the coming to the fullness of God. And when we come in the fullness of Christ, you know what I'm saying? Sin, you know, will be irrelevant because you'll be so full of Christ, full of wanting to love people, full of his love, joy, peace, gentleness, long suffering, meekness, temperance, faith. You know what I'm saying? That you know, uh you you won't have time or you won't even have the desire when you're so full of it. But the thing is, you know, read uh first Corinthians 4 15, 1 Corinthians 15 and 23 talks about the idea that Christ being the first group that and you know that and after that that is the coming of Christ it's going to facilitate this what I'm telling you right now concerning that we will become the perfect team that Christianity will become a perfect team that you know God you know was going to or you know happen very soon so I hope you be a part of it the perfect team and this perfect team is not going to be about you you know what I'm saying it's going to be about a body that or no, of course, a bride that's going to be without spot nor wrinkle. Get it? It's the establishment of the bride. All right, I hope you got the message. I hope you got the understanding. God be the glory here forever and ever in Jesus' name.
Amen. Be a part of the perfect team and stop being an individual.